Some people say that they actually lose weight going gluten-free. You know what actually happens? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna debunk three myths about gluten-free. Gluten-free is such a hot thing right now. Originally, the gluten-free diet was discovered by a doctor to treat celiac disease in children. But over time, somehow, you know, it just became a trend and it got so popular. I would say around 2010s. Like any other trend, you know, there is some benefits to it, but the reason for it becoming so popular and so mainstream the reason is usually not scientifically backed and that's why today i want to shed some light on gluten-free and tell you guys some truth about what gluten-free actually is i'm sorry if the lighting is really weird it's really cloudy and the sun is just peeking through the clouds right now as you can see all right let's get back to it first myth is saying that gluten is bad for everyone that is just not true people don't really know what gluten is it's simply a type of protein that is found in wheat barley and rye it's very elastic so that's why it's used in pizza pasta bread you know ramen noodles all these kind of things that's what gives you know bread the bouncy chewy texture even though it doesn't really add much nutritional value to your diet if you don't have problem digesting gluten gluten is not a harmful ingredient what makes gluten bad for you is you having problem digesting gluten or you have celiac disease when you see the word gluten don't associate it with something bad so that's the first myth the second myth is saying that gluten-free is healthier you know eating gluten-free will help me lose weight it is simply not true let me give you an example if you don't have problem digesting gluten you know you've been eating bread all your life and you have not really any digestive problems having a bowl of whole wheat pasta versus having a bowl of gluten-free pasta which is usually made from corn or rice or something like that it doesn't make one healthier than the other there's really not much difference it's just a bowl of pasta and you won't lose weight because you have this bowl of gluten-free pasta it, it doesn't work like that gluten-free has just been marketed as a healthy option it's just like lactose-free lactose-free is not healthier it's a choice my previous video i talked about lactose-free yogurt and why you should be really careful with the additives in it the same thing goes for gluten when you remove that gluten there's a loss of texture and to compensate the loss of texture companies will sometimes add sugar or add some kind of flavor in it always turn it around look at the back read the ingredients because the gluten-free label on its own it's not guaranteed healthy when you're going gluten-free a lot of times what happens is you are removing a lot of processed food from your diet you're just more cautious and more mindful with what you're eating and that itself can promote a healthier diet it's not really removing the gluten from a product that's causing you to lose weight the last myth i want to talk about is saying that removing gluten going gluten-free will solve all your gut problems gut healing is much more than that is much more than removing gluten you know there's many other ingredients food additives that can cause digestive distress gut healing takes a lot of time and effort it takes time to self-explore and figure out you know what's actually your problem i'm gonna give you another example let's go back to that bowl of pasta because a lot of people have this problem they tend to have gas and bloating after they eat pasta have you ever wondered maybe it's not the pasta itself that's causing you to bloat maybe it's the onions the garlic that you add in your pasta dish that's causing you to bloat because the fructan in onions and garlic has shown to give a lot of people digestive problems so maybe try removing that and see how you feel maybe you will feel better and turns out you are not gluten intolerant this part is what you need to figure out on your own i will definitely make more videos on gut health because i think 
think gut is just the center of everything if you have problem with gluten removing gluten is gonna help you but at the same time you need to add some stuff to your diet to promote a long-term good gut health like eating more fermented food probiotic prebiotic dense food all this stuff is what's really gonna heal your gut in the long term if you have really complex digestive problems and you feel like gluten is a huge problem for you I really suggest you to get tested for celiac disease at least just to rule that out because really damage your gut lining if it's left undiagnosed I just want people to make smarter choices because there's just so much misleading information in the market and now with the influencer marketing tactics and everything it's just getting a bit chaotic there should be more facts and truth and that's what I'm here for with that being said I hope you enjoy the video my previous video it will be right here please subscribe I hope you have a wonderful day or night I'll see you next week bye